Obviously pretty scary stuff there, but those pictures are incredible. Yeah, um, I mean, seeing what you know is stone in right. liquid form, yeah, just flowing in the same way that we go out and enjoy our rivers here. I mean, yeah. it's wow. like, it almost breaks my brain a little bit. Here's a nice uh, view of some foliage in Brownville. Leaves hanging on across northern yeah. Maine. You know, last weekend or two weeks ago, I was a little pessimistic that we weren't going to be able to keep the foliage around that long this year. But the calm weather pattern has worked in our favor. I think that if you want to get up into the mountains and maybe see some uh, foliage that's a little past peak, this is the last weekend to do it. With all of the rain in the forecast coming up next week, I think we're going to see leaf drop across a lot of Maine and New Hampshire. So if you've been waiting, now is the time to take advantage of the fall weather. We are watching showers continue to move across Piscataquis and Penobscot counties. A lot of sunshine down east and along the mid coast. If we zoom out a bit here, not much else behind this. So this is just a little bit more rain to go before things calm down tonight. However, I do expect lingering clouds tonight, which will keep things a little milder. I spoke earlier about how the wind direction behind the front actually helped us out to warm us up a little bit today. So we've got wind coming out of the west southwest, right? And this all has to do with the way that the terrain is. So let's talk about how this works mechanically. A little science lesson here. Uh, we've got a column of cool air on top of the terrain, right? And wind shifts to be out of the west. So this has to follow the terrain, which means it's at the top of some of the four and 5,000 foot peaks in New Hampshire. It moves down those peaks. We call that down sloping. As it does, there is literally more air on top of it, which compresses it as it makes its way to the surface and therefore it warms up. So when we have wind out of the west and uh, northwest, sometimes we actually end up with pretty warm conditions across southwestern Maine because of that. Also helps that it doesn't originate over the ocean, which is still warm for this time of year, but still in the 50s. So, you know, that helps too. Temperatures will drop back a bit tonight, expecting some 30s across northwestern Maine. Elsewhere will stay in the 40s. Uh, patchy cloud cover here or there. I don't think fog's really going to be a huge issue for most tonight. And then we'll see more clouds through the day tomorrow, a cooler day overall. That cold front that rolled through today has a reinforcing shot of cooler air behind it. Expecting partly to mostly sunny conditions on Sunday in this area of low pressure that ultimately gets its grip on the Midwest uh, has trended farther north, which brings rain back and maybe even some mixing to the highest peaks on Monday. So unfortunately, I think that next week starts off a bit more unsettled. We have added this area of abnormally dry conditions on Cumberland County and into Androscoggin County here. I'm not really worried about this. I'm not worried about the entire drought monitor, to be honest with you, just because I think we're going to bring so much more rain through. And here's something that I feel that on social media, a lot of people have asked when hurricane season officially ends since it's been so quiet in the tropics. November 30th. Is it possible that we'll see something form before then? Yes, but right now, I, I don't know. We might end up ending this what was an active season on a quiet note. Seas two to three feet tomorrow. Wind out of the north, five to ten knots. Small crafts in effect for another hour or so. Mostly sunny Sunday with late showers Monday. It's going to be rainy and probably breezy on Tuesday, but the storm itself actually exits on Wednesday. High temperatures only in the 40s Tuesday. Brief break Thursday before more wet and raw weather is back for the end of the week. Typical October. That's mean fall. Yeah, that, that's, sure is. that's what it should have been while we've been soaking up the sunshine the last two or three weeks. Yep. Don't take it for granted. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs>